Hey fellas, I've been getting a lot of questions lately on how to come up with a pattern for holster making. I did a series a couple years ago and I didn't get very specific in how I came up with my pattern so I thought I'd do it now. What I basically do is I take a piece of cardboard or a folder like this, something that's a little more rigid than paper because you're going to be using it quite often, folding and bending it so you want something a little thicker than paper. What I did was I cut the distance in half on a on lengthwise and drew a straight line. I've been pretty much using blue guns for the most part these days. If you happen to use, uh, happen to be using a real gun, again just make sure that it's clear ammo's in another room. Safety first because you are going to be pointing this at yourself a little bit. So, Alright, so once I drew my line straight down the page, I basically put the sights on as close to exactly straight on that line as I can get it and I fold the gun over and I go to the right now some guys go to the left I go to the right it works for me and I'll show you why a little bit down the road so once I have the gun laying down on the on the table um, the three three basic important things for me in making a holster is one you don't want the leather impeding the magazine release two you want a good distance between the grip of the gun and the part, this part of the, the holster so you can get a good combat grip and three is the retention of the holster I want to make sure that when I if I pull the gun out the uh, opening stays open it doesn't collapse on itself those are important things for me so with that being said once I have my gun laid out like this now it's just trial and error it's not really there's no there's nothing scientific about it you just have to kind of draw and see where you want the, the pattern all right and I've done so many of these that I kind of know I know what I'm looking for All right, so I'll go around it it's kind of like this now I'm a good distance from the grip but yet I'm still going to cover this trigger that's the important thing All right, so I go up there I know I want a sweat shield on this holster so I'm going to basically go around now I'm going to kind of just draw this out of the way all right so that's the first step in making the holster and what I'll do is just so you can see it better I'm gonna kinda I'll go around it with some marker to show you kinda where where I'm going with this all right <coughs> and that's where the gun will sit and if you can note, I don't know if you can see it on here, but this this piece of leather is between the magazine release and the trigger. And what I found is when I put it over to the right, I make this portion a little bit shallow, a little bit not so long. And this side, I make a lot longer because you're going to take this and you're going to fold it like a taco. All right. So I'm going to cut this out and we'll go on to the next step. So we have our pattern cut out. And if you notice on this pattern, and any pattern I do for any gun, I try to keep these cuts pretty wide. I try not to get too narrow on these. I keep everything kind of round, no square corners, no points, nothing to get snagged on. And the reason I make these kind of swooping like that is because, number one, it's easier to cut the leather. If you get a real tight corner, it's all nearly impossible to get a good clean cut. And also, when you go to sand, if you use something like a sanding drum, it won't fit in that radius, all right? So I keep mine a little bit wider. So that's cut. Basically what, what I do now is I just take the pattern, the way I cut it, and I lay it on top of the gun this time. All right, kind of lining up the sweat shield to the top. And I fold it over. So now I'm, I'm looking at the back of the holster. All right. I make sure everything lines up. And when you do your pattern, the reason why you make one side a little bit longer is because, again, you, you swoop it over like a taco, but you want to have enough, enough leather so you have something you can put a stitch line right here. If you don't have enough, the gun won't fit, and if you have you know too much, you can always cut it back afterwards. So I, I make sure that there's a good amount of room. All right. So now what I do is we have to figure out where we're going to put our stitch line, and the stitch line is going to go on the front of the holster. To figure that out what I do is I keep the gun just like this I lay it flat on the table I hold the other the bottom side of 
the pattern and I let that side flop. Now I know where this gun is sitting, okay? What I do is carefully hold that gun and draw the outline of the gun. It help if you add some lead in the pencil. Draw the outline of the gun on the inside of the holster, okay? And where the trigger is going to go. That's all you need. And there it is. Let me darken it in for you so you can see it. All right, so that's pretty simple. Now to figure out your stitch line, there's a rule of thumb that a lot of people say they tell you to take half the distance of the width of the gun. In my case, every time I've ever tried that, the stitch line came out too close to the gun and I couldn't fit the gun in the holster. So what I do 90% of the time is I'll take the ruler and I'll go from where I drew this line of the gun, I'll go mm, about three quarters of an inch, roughly. And I just measure down and I keep going around. All right. So let me show you with that. I darken it in with a marker. Hopefully you can see that. All right. So now there's your stitch line. But this is the inside of the holster. And remember the holster is going to go like this. So what I do is now I can see that stitch line from the outside of the holster. And I'll just trace it onto the inside. And then basically your outside, depending on where you want your stitches to be to that. All right. And then there's your stitch line. All right, now that we've got our pattern all cut out, we double checked it to make sure it's wide enough here to put a nice stitch line there. We've double checked everything, nothing, nothing is impeding the magazine release. The leather comes up high enough to hide the trigger and we figured out our stitch line. We also have enough leather down here to hide the uh, crown of the barrel a little bit. Alright, once we have that all figured out, what I want to do is we're going to have to, this is going to be the inside of the waistband holster, so I have to figure out how to basically put the belt clip on here. And we don't want to put the belt clip, we don't want to put a rivet through this piece of leather and on the inside of this on the inside of the holster to scratch your gun. So what we're going to do is I'll show you on one that I've already done. This piece here serves two purposes. One, it's, a it, it's good for retention, makes it thicker so it doesn't collapse on itself. And two, it will sandwich the belt clip between the outside of the holster and this piece will hold it down, glued in, stitched, and with a rivet. Alright, and how I came up with that is when we made that impression of the the gun on the inside, I can see it through the through the paper. And what I wanted to do is I just kind of found a spot where that would be directly on the gun. I don't want it off to one side. You know, I kind of want it right on the right on the meat part of the gun. So once I found that, I just slip this out. Get my marker going here. I just mark where I'm going to put it. All right. Now be careful. You don't want to get too close to those stitch lines because you don't want this impeding on that. All right. So give yourself a little room. Double check it. And that's pretty much it. Then once I cut this piece, put that together. That's basically. Your holster. I hope that helps, guys. Thanks for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And remember, freedom isn't free. Help a vet.